you how I'm attempting, let's say attempting, to make a dining room pendant light out of these lampshades that I bought at a local uh, thrift shop for $4.99 and $2.99 each. Um, I do have a dining room pendant, as you can see, which I really love. And it was pretty expensive, but we're all kind of sick of getting poked by the urchin metal bars. I almost poked my eye out already, so it's time for a change. Um, I have seen these done before we, with um, these type of lampshades. They're vintage. Uh, some newer ones are like this too. They're cage frames, meaning that they, they're connected with rods going this way. Uh, standard lampshades usually have a cardboard somehow glued to the top ring and the bottom ring and um, the middle part right here. So what I want to do is cut this in half and solder the top to this and the bottom to that because I don't want it to look like a regular lampshade and the um, inspiration lampshade also has kind of that weird shape that I'm looking for. Um, and I've never soldered before, so wish me luck. I hope it's gonna work out. So now they're both done. As you can see, this one I have to still do a little bit of work too because it, it was glued and it's yucky. I, I might try to um, sand it because I have to sand it anyway for the soldering. So I've seen them online where people just made it like this and then no soldering is required and it would make a cool pendant light as well. If you can see what I mean. But I just wanted to add a little bit of extra interest to the pendant.
did solder a lot less than um, the original lampshade because I didn't have enough rods left from this one. Mm -hmm. 